Welcome to this tutorial video on how to calibrate your Robotique wrist camera. For more information on the installation of the camera, please refer to the corresponding video. To use the Robotique wrist camera in a robot program, you must first define a snapshot position by using the snapshot position wizard. Go to the installation tab, UR caps, camera, snapshot, and tap the plus button. Enter a name for the calibration. Three methods of calibration are available. You must perform a full calibration at first. You will be allowed to select other calibration methods afterward. Select full calibration. Place the calibration board on the work plane. Move the robot to see the whole calibration board on the camera view. Click on Hold to Align to align the camera with the work plane. Tap the Calibrate button. The calibration process will start. The robot will move around the calibration board and will take 36 pictures. The result of the calibration will be shown in the window at the end of this sequence. Verify that the calibration is fine and click Accept. Place the object under the camera and toggle the grid display. Make sure the object fills at least one square grid. If required, tap the Hold to Align Over button to realign the camera with the work plane. Save the calibration position. Once the calibration has been accepted, the calibration performed will appear under the Snapshot tab and will be available in the Camera Locate UR cap. To save the created calibration, tap Save from the Installation tab and save the installation file. If you have a smaller object or if you want to lower the camera to be more precise, use the new Snapshot Position calibration method. This is an easy way to have a new snapshot position based on an existing camera calibration. Create a new calibration by pressing the plus button. Select the New Snapshot Position method. Move the robot closer to the same work surface. Save this position. Please refer to the wrist camera manual for more details. You are now ready to teach an object with the camera. See you next time to learn how to teach vision models and create a program for the parts you want to pick up.